Okay, exergy change. We're going to deal with now a change in exergy where the system doesn't go from initial state all the way to the dead state. It goes between two states. So we're interested in what is the exergy change, and we usually put it like this is the initial state, and this is the final state of a process. True? So you could do it this way. You say, well, what is the initial uh, or the final exergy? That would be um, U2 minus U0 plus P0 V2 minus V0 minus T0 S2 minus S0. Then subtract the initial exergy uh, U1 minus U0 plus P0 V1 minus V0 minus T0 S1 minus S0. Well, we see a lot of cancellation, don't we? Those, those terms cancel. Uh, these terms cancel. These terms cancel. And we're left with a much simpler result that it's just U2 minus U1 plus P0 times V2 minus V1 minus T0 S2 minus S1. So when you calculate the change in the exergy, the dead state temperature and pressure still come in, but you don't have to have U0, V0, and S0. Uh, 